Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to analyze the data from activity 1-1. So the data in this activity all comes from Milgram's original experiments on obedience. So if you're not already somewhat familiar with Milgram's experiments, I recommend that you go to the textbook web website and watch at least one video showing you um, the basic mechanics of the experiment. Okay. So what we have here in the data file are all of the data from multiple experiments um, that we're going to use in this activity. So I go ahead and open up the data loaded into Jamovi. I'm using version 2.2.5 of Jamovi here, but if you're using a similar version, it'll work the same way as what we're doing here. So in this activity, we're doing descriptive statistics and frequency tables. Actually, just frequency tables, no descriptive statistics. <laughs> so go ahead and click on Exploration. And descriptives is where the menu that you click on. Right. And then you'll see a whole bunch of variables listed down the left-hand side here in this box. We're only going to look at one variable at a time here. Right. We're starting by looking at psychiatrist predictions. So before Milgram conducted his research, he asked psychiatrists, how far up that shock scale do you think people will go? Right. How high do you think they'll go? So we're going to analyze that data here. We're moving that variable over into the variables box. And you can see that descriptive statistics pop up on the right-hand side. And we're coming back to descriptive statistics in the next chapter. For right now, what we want to look at are frequency tables. Okay. So we're going to look at frequency tables in this activity. And you could also get plots of data down here. You can get histograms um, and a variety of different kinds of plots down here. You can get bar plots, histograms, and so forth. Okay, okay so once you have this, you can see that we have the frequencies here. And on the left-hand side are the levels. And these are the levels psychiatrists indicated in terms of how high do you think people would go on this scale, right? So for the level five, six psychiatrists said that they, would, that they thought people would go up to level five. Right. 14 psychiatrists thought that people would go up to level 10, and one psychiatrist thought they would go up to level 20. Right. The next column on the right here is the percent of the total. There were 39 people total, or psychiatrists, included in this study. And for each person, or each uh, level here, it's the percent of people who gave that response. So for this very first one, you have two people divided by 39, which gives you 5.128%. Okay. There's also a cumulative percentage column. And what this column does is it takes each level percentage and adds the next one to it. <laughs> so for this very first one, we have 5.128 people at level 0. At level 1, there was one person, which was 2.564%. If you add the 2.564% to 5.128, you get the 7.692. Right? So it's a cumulative percentage. You're adding up the number of people at each category and below it, and then converting that value to a percentage. Right? So for example, if I look at level 6 here, right, I can see that 28.205% of the psychiatrist indicated that people would um, go up to level six or lower, right? And so that is the first variable where you're looking at the psychiatrist predictions. You're going to do the same thing in this activity with other variables as well. So to look at any given experiment or any given set of data, you just move the variable over and you can look at the descriptive statistics, the frequencies, and plots. Okay. So one thing I want to note with the plots, and the plots vary a lot in terms of different statistical programs you're going to use in terms of what they look like. In this case, I want to point out that the x-axis doesn't go up in equal increments, right? It goes 0, 1, 4, 5, 6. It's skipping the categories there for the bar plot in terms of if nobody gave that response, it just skipped that category. So the graph, if you were to include all of those missing categories, would look quite a bit different than this. 
Right? So be careful in terms of interpreting the output or looking at your graphs to make sure that everything is actually indicated on that x-axis. Okay. When I look at the histogram, you do have um, people um, in each given category, but there's the counts aren't listed on the y-axis. Right? So each graph shows you a slightly different view of the data. When you're looking at the data, be careful that you're looking at the graphs um, x and y-axis um, carefully. All right, so that should have you set up to do all of the analyses that you need to do for activity 1-1 uh, here. All right, good luck.